So I was doing my daily 3 a.m. Instagram scroll and I saw that the queen herself, Selena Gomez, was promoting her new music video for her new song, Love On. And in that video, she's wearing this beautiful rainbow number. And I immediately thought to myself and out loud to my boyfriend, I wanna make this dress. <laughs> So I took a screenshot and I Google lensed this biatch and I found out that the dress she is wearing is from Oscar de la Renta and it retails for $2,690. The website does say that it's made with 100% cotton yarn and I'm sure for that price, at least I would hope that it's like the butteriest, softest, most comfortable yarn on the planet. But I have decided to recreate this dress with the scratchiest, arguably most uncomfortable, cheapest yarn, 100% acrylic Red Heart Super Saver, which retails for $4.49 a skein at Joanne Fabrics, a little bit less at Walmart. Honestly though, it's really not that bad. This is the same yarn that I use to crochet my Ren Fair dress. I'll put that up here if I can figure out how to do that and you should watch that video if you'd like. I wore that dress all day at the Ren Fair and I wore it again on Halloween and it was fine. I wasn't itchy or anything. I tried to match my yarn to her dress as best as I possibly could. I ended up getting nine skeins of yarn and there were some like transitional colors that I just like couldn't match so I didn't get them. After two Joanne coupons I ended up spending $38.69 after tax and everything, which is quite a lot less than $2,600. Also, Oscar's dress only goes up to a size large, so even if I weren't poor, I couldn't wear the thing. So suck it, Oscar. I'm gonna make a fat girl version of your dress. Also, before we get started, the internet tells me that I should be asking you to like and subscribe. So this is a reminder that if you like stupid, silly art videos, um, like the video if you wouldn't mind. It would help me out with this stupid you know what, and um, subscribe if you want. I'm almost 2,000. I don't have a pattern for this. I'm just gonna have to not stress and do my best. Are you bored? Upon zooming in on the website, it looks like a pretty simple stitch, like a single crochet or maybe a half double crochet. There's definitely some space in between those stitches, so it might be a larger stitch. Dude, no. Stop it. I'll have to test those out and see what looks more like the stitch that was used on the dress. And then along like the top and the bottom and the sides of the sleeves, there's a little bit of a shell stitch, which I got good practice at doing my Ren Fair dress as well. And it looks like the piece was made in two sections, a front and a back. So that's how I'm gonna do it also. First, I need to see if I have a similar-ish dress that I can use as a pattern, because I don't have a pattern for this. This might be the closest thing. It is not a dress, but it's like a jumpsuit situation. Kind of fitted, strappy sleeves. I think this is gonna work. I'm pretty much always a 2X. This isn't a tutorial, but if you are also a 2X, maybe you could follow along with this. Otherwise, I would just suggest doing what I'm doing, finding something similar in shape and measuring it. My jumpsuit is almost exactly 23 inches, so I'm gonna go with that. I know you're supposed to like block your pieces and it stretches them, so you're supposed to make them a little bit smaller, whatever. I never do that. I never have done that in my whole life, so I'm not gonna start now. <laughs> I honestly will probably make this and then hang it on the wall in my studio like I did my other dress, so I don't think it really matters. I just realized uh, the top part needs to be not as wide as the middle part. <laughs> this is going well so far. No, I'm glad I thought of that before I actually started crocheting. I don't know, this is hard. I'm just gonna crochet and like hold it up to my body and see how that feels. Of course, we're starting with light green. So I got this kind of olive -y green. I think it matches relatively well. I'm not gonna add the scallops right now. I'm just gonna start crocheting a rectangle of sorts and I'm gonna add the scallop later. I think that makes the most sense. So I'm just gonna chain until I feel like it's big enough for this area. And yes, before anyone asks, this is Kimberly J. Brown from Halloween Town's merch. <laughs> you know, he looks pretty good after all these years, I gotta say. He almost looks a little bit better than me. Official from her Etsy. It's pretty cool. Okay, 
I chained 67. That seems like a good number. So I'm gonna see what kind of stitch I should do on this dress. I'm thinking a half double crochet. Mm, that might be too close together. It might be like a double crochet. Yeah, I think that's maybe the ticket, which is good news for me, that'll go faster. Yeah, I think that looks better. I am gonna do a row of single crochets though, right here after the chain. I've got my first row of double crochets done, and I think you can really see now that this does match pretty closely, I think, if not exactly, to what is on the actual dress. As far as how the stitches look, not the color, but pretty close. So on the original dress, it looks like the light green color goes about halfway down the boobies before it changes into dark green. That dress is a size small and it looks like there's seven rows of double crochet. I am making a much larger dress, so mine might be more than seven rows, I don't know. but I'm writing everything down so that I can kind of know like when to switch the colors and everything so that the front and the back are the same, hopefully. <laughs> I'm gonna pack up and go sit somewhere more comfortable. It's the next day. I've been working on this for like 24 hours and um, mine looks nothing like hers. <laughs> This is what I've got going on so far. Obviously, I wasn't able to get all of the transitional colors that are in the original dress. So it kind of looks dumb, but I'm hoping that the pinks and the reds at the bottom pull it together. <laughs> I haven't been using a pattern. I've just been holding it up against my body, really, and seeing like where I wanted to increase it. I have no idea if it's gonna fit. From the green to the blue here, I did basically just a rectangle. I did that all the same amount of stitches. And then once I got to the yellows, I started increasing. Because in the original dress, it does kind of like start to flare out and not be so form-fitting at the bottom. I could have been smart and found a dress pattern that was similar on Etsy, but I just thought of that. So, oh well. <laughs> Hey, Selenators. <laughs> I should admit, I'm not like the hugest Selena Gomez fan. I mean, I think she's pretty cool and I loved her in Wizards of Waverly Place. <laughs> Look, I'm almost done. I got this whole like front piece done and I'm almost done with the other side. I just have to do the dark red bottom part. I thought I would just pop on for my last color change so that I can show you how I've been changing colors. It's probably not the best way to change colors and I've been tying like little knots because I get paranoid that the yarn will unravel, but I figure I should show at least one skill of crochet in this video. So here's what I've been doing. I start my last double crochet. I go through, I pull up three loops on the hook and then I pull through two and I leave those last two loops on the hook. And then I cut a tail. I always use nail clippers because I can never find my scissors and they work perfectly for cutting yarn. <laughs> and then I take my next color and I leave a little bit of a tail again and I pull it through those two and then I chain two. And then I take those two tails and I tie a little knot, a little, double knot for safety. And then I just turn my piece and I start crocheting with my new color. This is my last color, thankfully. This is kind of taken forever. Um, so I'm gonna do two rows of this and then I'm gonna sew the whole thing together, which is gonna kind of be a pain in the ass because I'm gonna have to sew each section in each individual color. My boyfriend got me this standing desk and it's really cool because you can stand or you can sit. There's another level down there or you can put this part down and make a bigger sitting table. It's really cool. And also 
I read online that sitting is the new smoking, so I got anxious about it, of course, and um, this makes me feel like I'm doing something healthy, so <laughs> I'm gonna stand here and crochet these last two rows instead of sitting on the couch. Okay, it is 11 p.m., but that's typical. I just got done sewing in all the little stringies on the sides. And by the way, I will leave my pattern for this, so if you are the exact same size as me or you think that maybe you wear like around a 2X, assuming this fits me, I'll put exactly what I did. <laughs> I don't know how to make patterns for different sizes. Maybe you could use my pattern as inspiration for your size and what I did if it works out. It is time to sew these two sides together. I was saying earlier that I wasn't looking forward to this because I thought I was gonna have to do each color individually. I was just looking on TikTok for how to sew crochet things together and I think I might be able to just use one color and do a ladder stitch. I've never done this before so I have no idea. I actually haven't even checked to see if these are the same length or if I messed anything up. <laughs> I think they look good. Yeah, I think I, I think I did it. So the ladder stitch, where's my needle? Oh, <laughs> thanks bestie. <laughs> okay, so it looks like you just put your yarn through your darning needle. Don't pretend like you don't lick your yarn. And you just want like a little bit of a tail. Oh my God, do I really have to pull all this through every single time? Don't stress, do your best. Okay, so if I've done this correctly, I should be able to pull these strings and this should come together and you shouldn't really be able to see the blue. You ready? Oh shit. Well that works. Now to just do that about a million more times. Somehow, I just realized I've been sewing this not correctly for a while now. So I gotta take this out. Wow, all that work. <sighs> I think I'm just gonna do it each individual color like I was to begin with. That sucks. Okay, I just finished sewing the dress together. I still need to do the straps. If not for the straps, it would not stay up because mine is a little big. <laughs> I may have made mine a little bit too A-line. Selena's is a little bit more form-fitting, but I think it looks pretty good. It looks like a dress. It's late. Sewing that thing together with all the different colors took forever, but I wanna do the sleeves. So I'm gonna try to do that now. I think it's like 1 a.m. Correction, it's 1.42 a.m. It's 2.51 in the morning. I just got the first strap on here and I want to at least finish this second strap then I have to do a shell stitch all the way around the top and the bottom I don't think I'm gonna do that tonight <laughs> or this morning but I thought I would show how I attached what is this called oh my god I am I can't think what is it called strap <laughs> I thought I would show how I attached the strap so I just slip knotted much like the band actually nothing like the band I just put the yarn on my hook and then I counted over six stitches because that's about where I thought it would be good to put my strap and hindsight I would have put it over further but whatever and then I just crocheted over did double crochets over eight stitches because I wanted to make the strap eight stitches wide so that's what I'm doing and then I chain two turned my work I realize you don't have to turn the whole dress just the sleeve I was turning the whole dress for a while and then I just kept double crocheting it's now 3 30 a.m. I was just about to crochet this strap on to the back and I realized that I messed up 
the back. And I've been sitting here trying to decide if I care enough to uncrochet the other sleeve or strap and fix it. And I decided I don't care. <laughs> So my back is just gonna be different. The original back is like very much square and like the straps are very wide. Mine are like really close together, like two stitches apart. I look like I haven't left my house in 12 days and that's probably because I haven't. <laughs> I'm finally getting this shell stitch to look good. This took me like 20 tries. I had to frog this thing probably no less than six times. Wait. What? I'm doing something. No. Oh. That's it. Oh. Nice. <laughs> but I thought I would show you. So what I'm doing is five double crochets in one stitch to make the shell. And then you skip one stitch, single crochet into the next stitch, skip one more stitch, and then five double crochets in the next stitch to make the next shell. And that has been working to space them out really evenly and not make them look crowded like they were before. I'm almost done with the bottom border and then I have to do the top and then I'm done. I got the bottom done and I'm moving on to the top. I did one side of this strap and I'm on the front piece right now. I spent a good chunk of time today trying to decide if I wanted to move my straps so that they looked more like the original dress. And I decided, heck no. The amount of time it would have taken to go in here and find the piece that I weaved in and undo everything and move, mm, mm It's not an exact replica of the dress, obviously. I made the thing way too loose and A-line anyway, and the colors aren't really even that similar. <laughs> the ombre isn't there. It's just uh, my own original rendition, so screw it. The sleeves are also gonna be a little bit different. I'm super close to being done. I do have to do the other edge of these straps, but I should be finishing this up real soon. And then I will try it on and give you the full reveal experience. I think I am gonna have to shave my legs though, cause I am not revealing these woolly mammoths to the internet. <laughs> One leg shave later. It's done. Do I look like Selena Gomez? Don't answer that. <laughs> I think the scallops really brought it together, made it look a lot like the original dress, but for a big, poor girl. <laughs> I had a lot of fun making this. I hope you enjoyed watching me try to figure it out. I hope I did it at least a little bit of justice. Sorry, Oscar de la Renta. <laughs> if you like to watch silly art things or to maybe learn some metalsmithing tips here and there or some crochet tips-ish here and there, um, subscribe to me. I'm almost at a thousand. I promise if you subscribe, I'll never do that again. <laughs> also, did you notice I'm wearing my charm necklace? I made this in my last video. I'll put that up here wherever it pops up. You should watch that video. Let me know what you think about my dress and I'll see you back here next time with another video. Bye.